Alrighty. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back, King Thunder. Welcome back, one and all, to another episode of Front Mission 3. And me being like two feet away from my mic further than I should be. <sighs> Whew. Get away from me, job. Your fun killing powers are useless on me. Oh, minor delay. <clears throat> As I wake up and. Ugh. Flex my fingers. Okay. A lot of confidence or no confidence? <laughs> okay. Uh. Sounds like so much of Evangelion. Um. Oh, man. But, yeah. Front Mission 3, the pursuit of Lukov to punch his butt for trying to start wars and bombs and other things also, you know, looking the wrong way at Kaz's sister, so, you know, can't have that. Ooh, Final Fantasy VIII. Good stuff. I've got to get to that sometime. Mmm. Good stuff. And, uh, heard about your... Oh, what was it? How to put it? Cinematic experience. Yeah. Let's just say... I've worked under Medea before. <laughs> One of my last bosses was basically just Medea. I wouldn't wish her on anyone. Even on even in cinematic form. Oh. But enough about filmic preferences. Um little brief point to mention before I get started. I did not get any grinding done on this game during the week. Just none. This has been a rough week. Um, I did, however, get the Hoshin. I put that plasma gun on it. But uh, we'll get to see that to at, at um, work in a little bit, because I, I do want to get some grinding in at some point on, on this game soon. Because there are some abilities that some of these characters could use and don't have, and some of them that they can have and Oh. And I need to go over that list again. Ooh, from Shijindoji to Kumamoto. And I feel like on the abilities front, Kaz has had some good ones. I love that double assault. But he could use other ones. Him and, uh, and Dennis. Anything to get Dennis to. Back to, back to working. Okay. <clears throat> So, the Fukuoka squad didn't get them. The 8th Division... The 8th Division returned to Kumamoto. Other forces are joining them there. I don't know why I'm going that with the voice. Paul Kuroi. Yes, sir. Kawada, which squad is ready for an attack? The squad in Saga is sending by. Okay. Oh, boy. Did you call me, sir? Oh, we're no on. Oh, the dance floor scene. Oh man, I won't get back to that. Roy, the Saga Squad is yours. Take the Kumamoto base and destroy the Eighth Division before they merge with the others. Yes, sir. Sounds like you're having trouble, Sir Lukov. When did you get here? It doesn't matter. What ma What happened to the other mercenaries? I told you to destroy them. Oh. Woo. <sighs> Don't worry, I know where they are. And the opposition forces are still fighting. I can use the DHC forces to wipe them out. That's not necessary. I already sent my men out there. We'll see how they do. You need not worry. Okay. Ah, uh, Squall and his... dance moves. And his trying to play it off all cool and everything that he didn't know how to dance all that well. People in their line of work are required to learn that, to learn that kind of subterfuge on the fly or some such. I can't remember his exact reasoning. Uh, 
edgelord on the dance floor. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that game had some amazing FMVs. I'll get back to that in just a second. Mr. Taniyama, how are things shaping up? Forces from Kag Kag Kagoshima and Miyazaki are heading straight toward this base. They're gathering more forces along the way. Commander Taniyama, one of Sasaki's squad is moving. It's heading south on Highway 209. They're heading straight to Kumamoto. They want to take this base. What about the other enemy forces? They're not moving. The force is too small. Do they underestimate us? We should attack them before they reach Kumamoto. Wait! What is it, Alyssa? Take a look at the map. <laughs> uh. This is the enemy's route, right? Yes, and Kumamoto is along Route 208. What's wrong, Alyssa? Taniyama, what's located here? This is Omuta. It's, there's a small harbor here, but... I just can't help but imagine Squall blushing super hard in that whole scene. Hmm? Huh? Mr. Taniyama, please send our recon out there. Um... Okay, that's not a problem. Right, Alyssa? Yes! Ooh. Ugh, the power of caffeine compels me to read these better. <laughs> okay. So, where are we? The FMVs, though, in Final Fantasy VIII, and it did something... And I know... Other games have done it at some point, and other FF games have done it at some point, but I can't recall any anything specific. Um, I do remember it being the first game that I saw to overlay FMVs in certain sequences, to overlay the um, in-game models into FMVs during certain sequences. There's a point later in the game where they do that, um, involving a battle scene and... It blew my mind at the time. It was really good. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna try and remember that blurb thing too. Mm. Oh god. I'm trying to wake up. Ugh. And I think that's the first time I popped an elbow too. Woo. Pop all the things! Okay. So let's see, what have we got here? So they're looking to send a recon force out to, uh, like a dock? Okay. Start with... Ugh. I should be over and done with this in just a minute. This is like the yawningest day and I feel like a jerk for it. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so we've got Taniyama Takiguchi with the I don't know. And Emma and Alyssa. Yeah, FF7. I know they. I knew they transitioned from FMVs to gameplay uh, once. I couldn't remember if the train sequence in the intro overlaid the FMV or if it played the FMV up to the models and then jumped into gameplay. Um. Beyond that, though, I don't really recall FF7 all that well. So that is. Let's see. Sector 7 plate. I actually don't remember that scene, and I know I've played that far. So that... I have got to go back to those games. Ooh. Ooh, one moment. Okay. Back to plot! I'll send Recon out, but what's in Omuta? Okay. And Takiguchi. What are they after? I don't think there's anything in, Ooh, in Omuta. It's two of them. Alyssa might be right. A lot of really short sentences. Okay. Ugh. 
Yeah, you don't have to worry too much about spoilers on the FF7 and 8 front, because while I don't remember the games all that well, I do remember watching my brother play through both of those, so I'm not super worried about spoilers in those two games in particular, so... No worries. Ugh. I vaguely remember the ending to FF8. I remember a lot more about the ending to 7. What's going on? I don't understand. Well, yeah. Good job, Kaz. That's, um... That's a newsflash. Don't you think it's strange that the enemy is attacking us head-on? Not really. But they don't need to. There are many other ways to wipe us out. So, they're planning something else. He can't even comprehend anything but the direct approach. Oh, the harbor! Oh boy. And back to the map. If we use the harbor at Omata, we can approach from the sea. The enemy can hit us from behind, where we're already to can't do what? Okay. I... Okay, I totally misread that line for a second. Okay. The enemy can hit us from behind while we're deployed on the highway. Ugh. Alyssa, you're a genius! We're all working hard. That's merely conjecture. Let's wait for Recon to report back. We'll get ready in the meantime. Okay, so... Oh, Cypher and, oh, Idea, as I believe, uh, her name, if I, if I can recall. Let's see. Mm. All I remember about uh, Ultimecia is as a final boss. My brother had to fight her one time with uh, a Game Shark enabled, because at the time we had one. Um, yeah, I don't know what it was that she did, but she apparently has certain insta kill moves where if you have infinite health on, she can still kill you. So, hmm, that's yet another reason I want to play that because I want to see, I want to see what's up with that, because I would like to have a Game Shark for um. Or action replay or similar for PS1 titles. Wouldn't help in this game because it's a digital title on PS3 because I couldn't find my physical one. Damn it. Okay. Kaz and the gang roll out while recon teams are checking the roads and making sure Luka and the gang aren't up to something sneaky because, you know, why would they be? You know, they're only the, the opposition. Ah, the, uh, president abduction. Ah. Uh, poor Zell and his stomach. I remember that scene, too, a little... Uh, to a degree, that, that, um, sequence was a fun one. Though, at the time, I somehow had trouble wrapping my head around the plan the first time that they, uh, they used. Hmm. There was a lot in that game that I had trouble wrapping my head around. That's one of the reasons I want to replay that. Okay, things will likely progress faster if I go into the bar, so let's take a peek at the shop first. Just see if there's any upgrades. But considering I recently got upgrades, I'm not expecting much. Let's see. Yeah, didn't really think there'd be anything. Okay, and let's see. Why? Let's see. Left arm, no, I'm best limbs. I'm just kind of skimming here. Okay, Fatal Buster, what? Yeah, I'm going to actually revisit these uh, weapons and stuff later down the road, but... Oh, okay, underslung machine gun. Ooh, DeSoto. Underslung shotgun. Ah. So many new toys to play with, but... They will require some considerable editing of my machines because I'm already hitting weight limit issues. 
but that's basically the gist of what I wanted to see was if there were, if there were any upgrades or new notable toys. Note how I did not check the shoulder weapons. Those weigh a shit ton. <laughs> Those would require a lot more time to wrap my head around a build. I remember last week something coming up about a dual missile build. I uh, believe the keybing was the center of that discussion. I've got the note right here, two missiles, a power pack, and salvo. I never did get a chance to uh, check that out. I wanted to see if the missile launchers each had their own ammo reserve, or if they shared the uh, ammo reserve that, that you start out with. If you like get 12 missiles or you just stick with the original six. Because that'll make or break the power pack part. Plus there's learning the abilities, the ability salvo. Alright. Okay. Yeah, the uh, character ages in uh, manuals. I know some of them had to change when they brought that manual stateside. It's... It's totally like that, though, with Japanese games. I, I get why they do it, but, um... Yeah. Irvin... I don't know enough about the character. I would be hard-pressed to see him as any younger than, like, mid-twenties. Quistus? No way in hell. I am not buying it. Okay. So the missiles would provide... So I would have 12 missiles if I had two of them, so that would make... Salvo a little less worrisome. All right. Okay. Now, plot things. <sighs> What's wrong? The coup got you down? Just exasperated by that customer over there. What do you mean? Why don't you ask him? Okay, that, that bodes ill. Okay. I can't believe Colonel Takamura started a coup! Okay. It's hard to believe that the Colonel would do such a thing. Okay, that's two. You understand now? Nope. Okay. Let's see. I do not remember Quistus's career crumbling, so there's there's a gap in my knowledge there, so... Seriously, she would have to have done something egregiously stupid in their line of work to uh, ruin her career when she's fat, relatively young. But then Japan has some very differing views on, uh, on youth and on aging that you see a lot in, in media. Um... It's almost like you're an old maid or an old geezer when you hit 30 and a lot of stuff when you see things coming from over there, so that's probably where some of that came from. But, uh, yeah. Of course, that's kind of a guess. Because they, they have weird things about age. I haven't stepped out since the coup. How did you get here? I've been here since the coup started. Okay, well, he picked the, great, the right place to be. How can you go outside? Want me to escort you back home? No, I'm, I'm staying here until it's safe. Okay, he's... Okay. That, that handles that. Okay, oh, not yet. One last one, Thrill Seeker. I almost died in a battle near my house yesterday. Walking the thin line between life and death. Oh, it's so exciting. <laughs> no. I want to feel that thrill again. Oh, yeah. She's she's totally going to be palming a butter knife and, you know, just following someone into a dark alley. She's she's teetering down that, that road. I mean, pretty soon, Thrill Seeker there, she's going to be listening to Huey Lewis in the news in a raincoat and, uh... Chasing people down hallways, wearing nothing but sneakers, a smile, and holding a chainsaw. 
because she does not sound right in the head. Okay, so that I think that's about everyone. Uh, step out of the base, get a little bit of the uh, taste of the countryside here. All right. Okay, so Quistus was a member of Seed when she was 15. So, two years on the job, and she's already teaching. I... What? What? Even? Wow! What is their management structure? What the hell? When when with Sid, um, Sid I think is the boss. Did I? That's one letter away from acid. Which, if that's what he did with instructors, I would think he has to be on. There's got to be some connect there between his name and drugs because that woo. Also, yeah, maybe she could... Maybe she is just that good. I mean, she is, like, you know... Wreck that whip, but, um... <laughs> okay, Sid's in his mid-30s. Oh, my God. Every time I see Sid in that game, all I can think is Kevin Klein. Um... <laughs> I... Don't know what to say about that. How is everything? Recon says that there are many large civilian ships entering the harbor. Civilian ships? That must be their camouflage. There should be LSTs inside. You're absolutely right. Mr. Taniyama, please take half of your force to Highway 208. To make it look like we've fallen for their trick. Yes, then we'll surprise them. It's one of those things where with a game... I tend to think of like the same kind of uh I tend to think of like a voice of a celebrity for or, or a voice actor for a different character. Quistus would in my head canon have a similar like voice to like Emma. If you've ever seen the MIB cartoon, Men in Black, uh oh, where's a Okay. Almost hit the wrong button. If you've ever seen the Men in Black cartoon, uh what was the female agent's name? I think that was M. I need to look up her, uh, one moment. I'm hitting every key but what I need. Mm, let's see. I love that cartoon, but I hated the, um, art style. I really did. Begin landing! Hurry! Stop right there! Oh, his eyes just closed mid-frame. That's great. Uh, we know exactly what you're trying to do. Do you, Ryogo? We've got all the other units. It's over. Surrender! You must be pretty sharp to figure us out. Let all units know that we're aborting the landing. Lieutenant Kuroi? They know our plan. Cancel the assault. Are you planning on running? Not very courageous, are you? Nah, they're just afraid of me. Don't worry. I'll deal with you myself. Ah! Snipers and melee. Okay. So, taking a quick peek, trying to find uh, what's her name? L, I believe. Jennifer Jennifer Lean is the name uh, name of the voice actor in seasons one through three, and in season four, Jennifer Martin. So I so there's two voice actresses for that same character. So now I can't place that. Damn it. But yeah. Okay, so we have thanks to your advice. Let's see, we've got snipers and melee guys with shields and some missile users. So similar to the last round with Kuroi. Now, Kaz. 
I love the Zenislev. I love the uh, setup he's got there with the spike and the shotgun. That's a that's a fun. But um, yeah, he's getting the Hoshin for this mission, and I have reason for that. Emma here. I really like having her. I like her uh, missile support here in battles. I, I love having her. But I've, I've had I had her last time. So missile guy here. Gonna be Lenny this time. Um. See, I want Yana though because I love her double assault when she. Oh, the melee guys might not have shields then. Okay. Then this is going to be extra fun. Okay, I'm going to put Yun on for her double assault. They're so afraid of Ryogo. Let's see how they handle him. No, actually, let's see. Go ahead and clear them out. And Lenny on missiles. Okay. To answer your question, no, I have not been letting Kaz using that laser rifle for a bit, so this is kind of going to bite me in the ass. I am positive. <laughs> like I said, I... What the hell with that engine? Like I said, I have not had an opportunity to grind this week, so it's... Urgh. But I need to at least get him something in here. If, if I don't... If I can't grind on a, in a given week, I at least want to get him something. So, melee. Kaz is probably going to be taking on Sniper, so he's going to go anti-piercing. Um, Ryogo's probably going to be getting closer than he should, so I'm going to put him anti-impact. Her anti-impact. And him anti-piercing. Anti-fire, actually, since he's going to be poking and prodding at missile guys. All right, I'll answer that question shortly once I get a brief view of the map here. As Yogo, Yun, and actually Yun, move her back behind Cass and Lenny. Okay, the Jill playthrough on Resident Evil. I am way lower on ammo than I should be. I mean. It is entirely due to my own missteps through the playthrough. I, I recognize fault there, but at least I have plenty of grenade ammo, and I have magnum rounds, so I shouldn't be... I shouldn't be too terribly off, because I have come across a tyrant. Hmm. I realize that in, like, other Let's Play channels, it'd be like... I'd be dodging the question and be like, well, you should check the playthrough to find out, uh. But no, I like transparency. I don't do that. I don't do that noise. But yeah, in all honesty, yes. The Jill playthrough is going great. A little low on ammo. But, uh, things are going good. Okay, we have, okay. Snipers, melee, snipers, melee. They're paired up on that side, so we got, oh, ah, camera. I got two missile guys, a sniper. That's not Kuroi. Okay. So, I kind of want Cass to go in on Kuroi for shits and giggles, but these missile guys gotta go, so. Move him. Attack. I really didn't have to move. Holy crap at the uh, range on here. Yep, that's, um. That is indeed range. I forgot about the range. It was mentioned last stream. Also, that AP usage. Mm. Right, I really hope that AP zero procs. Um, <laughs> okay, but I need to take. Ooh, I need to take a crack at these missile guys. Get them. Uh, get them out of the picture. Marmaru beam. Oh wow. That was awesome. There's someone who no longer has an arm. <laughs> um. Okay, so I guess Yun then needs to pull in and capitalize. Uh, let's see. She, I mean, she's not close enough where she could 
jack that machine. So let's see if she gets double assault on this guy. That would be really great. Oh well. Oh, she didn't need it. Nice. Well, I got free, uh, free parts now, so that's cool. Okay. And enemy turns. I got a little bit more gaming-y tidbits. Okay, let's see. So I really want Cass to live now just for that neutron damage, because... He's going to be cutting people down just like... That's like a hot knife through butter. Sup, bruh? Whoop, whoop, whoop. And here come them bullets. Ah. I'll get you next turn, Hanson. This is 1999, so what the heck? I'm, I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> okay. So, I'm down one missile guy, which means Lenny's job just got substantially easier. Move him a little further forward. It's going to put him so close to Kuroi, though. Mm. Kaz is out for a turn. All right, gotcha. Ooh, I was reluctant to move him those few steps, but... It was worth it just to get him there where he's just out of the way but in range of just about everyone. All right, missile bot number two. Come on down! You know, it's a good thing that they can't retaliate with missiles. I mean, not gonna lie though, I don't really understand why they decided in that particular instance to not allow people to retaliate, but... Yeah. Lenny's not going to be next to Kuroi for very long. I just didn't want to burn a lot of AP. Um, I wanted to get him where he could kind of boost a little further out of the way. He should be able to make some moves next turn. I knew putting him next to Kuroi would get him hit. Okay, so let's see where we at. All right. So I mentioned, I believe, during the Resident Evil stream, yeah, that uh, that uh, Konami was doing some arcade bundle thing, which, you know, it's cool and everything. I'm not really familiar with those games that well. But as it turns out, I was under the impression that that was the only bundle. There are actually two more, one of which is a Contra bundle, um, of which they've only announced, like, four titles from the looks of things. The other one... Is a Castlevania bundle. Oh, yeah, right. Well, here's an argument for another weapon on Kaz. Just let him sit for a moment. Okay. Hands off me, filthy peasant! I have work to do! Yes, that's Lenny's voice, and it's still terrible. <laughs> That's the one I'm going with on this playthrough. It may change next playthrough. I play... Yeah, I ever play Alyssa Scenario on stream? Yeah. Oh, Pro Protector? Yeah, I forgot about that little wrinkle. Uh, the regional change of not having them be dudes murdering other dudes. Uh, let's see. But the site that I'm reading this on is Game Debate. I don't know if, if they're... I don't think they're a European-based site. I may be wrong on that. I wanted to say they, they were British, but... See, the games they have for the Contra bundle are Contra, Super Contra, Super C separately, which I thought was I thought was Super Contra, and uh, Contra 3, The Alien War. So that's good to know. They have four more that are in the collection they have yet to announce. Oh, crap. There's uh, Too Far With Her. I'm just going to get her in shotgun range, just to make sure she can still proc double shot. So yeah! Yes! But yeah, I've, I've never beaten a Contra game that I have played. I know there's a Contra game on the SNES Classic. I really need to... 
need to take a better look at that. Okay, Yun. I'm pretty sure she can have a better machine gun or shotgun, but I think she would need a different power pack, so I need to investigate that. Contra Hardcore. Uh, there are comments on the article in question requesting it. Um, this is on Game Debate, so... As well known as it is, I would say that there's a, there's a higher chance of it. Um, my worry is for the Castlevania bundle, where, um... Oh god, what was it? PlayStation, what was it? That Symphony of the Night? This Symphony of the Night. I'm hoping that they put the original PlayStation version on there myself rather than the updated version with the updated, less fun dialogue. Ooh, Lenny's body. Where was he at? Because I know he was in kind of a bad way, me parking him in front of... Oh, shit! Owie! Oh, man. Yeah, Castlevania bundle and a Contra bundle. That's almost enough to make me want to buy games from Konami. I would strongly consider the Castlevania one um, just on the grounds that, you know, I only have one Castlevania game. Uh, I might have some digitally on 360, thanks to the Games with Gold thing, but I don't know. All right, so Kaz... I don't know why I didn't default to missile users. Mm. It's like if I leave him here, though, I could actually fire two turns in a row is the thing. Because he regenerates 12. This will leave me with three. If I don't move Kaz, I can shoot with him every turn, so... <laughs> this is so dumb. Um... Let's see, melee users? Who all is here? Is he... He's a sniper. That n that guy's a missile user, if I recall. So he's obstructed. I want to shoot at Kuroi with Ryogo, since Kuroi's already got all that damage on him. I feel like it might be a bit wasteful of the huge amount of damage that this particle gun's, particle gun's going to be pushing out. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave Kuroi to Ryogo. And just nail whoever I can with Cass. Just try and take off limbs with him. Damn it! Oh, there we go! Like that! Because if, if Kuroi hits Kaz, yeah, that arm smash is going to be rough. Ryogo doesn't really have to move to hit Kuroi. Hey, bro! What's up? Daka Daka! Wah! <laughs> okay, now we got Lenny. Ooh, that that's, um... That is some body damage. Hmm. <laughs> oh, do I want to heal his body up this turn? He does have a shield, doesn't he? But he doesn't have a lot of AP. Yeah, I'm going to go on ahead and use the item so I can... Go on ahead and... Because this way he can shield if he gets hit. Okay, so she's last of her... Last of this turn. Oh, he's got hard below it, doesn't he? He's, he's out. Okay, he's a non-issue. She can move to someone more important. Alrighty. Attack. Ah, no double double hit this time, but his problem. Okay. Enemy turn, more fun tidbits. So, Detroit, where are we at? He's got a shield. He's gonna shield for a turn or two. He probably should have shot back, but hmm. Damn it. So, Detroit... Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls are being ported to PC, which is interesting. I'd rather get them on console. Um, 
but they're being brought to the much maligned Epic Game Store, and, you know, whatever the case, it does have its problems for certain. Ooh, Lenny's anti-fire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shield. I just want to get him in too much of the, oh, that arm is about to go. Might as well just shield with it since that arm's gone. So yeah, three David Cage games being brought to PC. Now, not gonna lie, I've been posting on Twitter whenever the Epic Games Store has free games, but the no user reviews thing and harvesting data from Steam users kind of irritates the hell out of me. So when I saw that headline, my first thought was, I didn't know cancer could catch cancer. Um, so yeah, you've got a game store, which I'm now reluctant to even post about free games about. And three David Cage games. Don't get me wrong, I want the bad games <laughs> to an extent. I would like to play through them on my own. But uh, if they're Epic Store exclusive, which I which I'm, haven't read the article, I think they are... Yeah, they are Epic Store exclusive. Then I don't think I want a part of them. I haven't even got the Epic installer... I haven't got the Epic Store installed. I don't know that I want to now. Because, just... Ew. His right arm's about to go. Okay. Well, he can go. Is he going to retaliate? He's going to retaliate. Hmm. But yeah, I think in those cases I'll stick to uh, physical copies on console there, because then I don't have to worry about Epic Games trying to harvest things. Not like I have a lot of um, things to harvest, it's just kind of dickish of them. I don't want to give them encouragement. Okay. He's, he was a non-issue. He's anti-fire. Move Lenny over. Huh. Melee guy next to Yun, right? Let's see. As a matter of fact, let's pop to Yun real quick, because there's a lot of arms going. This guy's an issue. This guy needs to hurt, but he can't really get a lot from Lenny. Let's move Yun back. Yeah, this is the move. This is the kind of thing I should be thinking about in Armored Core, proper damage distribution, but... Mm. Yeah, that machine gun, that is kind of weak now. I've got to do something about that. And Ryogo's still here. It's like, hey bruh, I'm still here! Oh, you little turd! Oh shit, he is in a bad way. Um Well Hmm Well Lenny can't get around to save him. Kaz? He has a power pack now, doesn't he? Oh no, he doesn't, but Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and heal Ryogo. Ryogo's gonna get really messed up. He gets he gets hit in another turn, he's gone. But he can't take much, so I'm gonna have to sacrifice that that beam attack this time. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh yeah, those ECM towers, that was that was kind of embarrassing. I something about the dunes just led me to believe that, that one edge of that level was like it led me to believe that the sand there was the edge of the level, and I didn't venture past it like, you know, someone who was paying attention. So I kind of hobbled myself from the outset. Yeah, I'm going to go and hit him with missiles since this, this turn's already gone a little air-shaped. But I know that for the future. If I replay that mission, I can pop those ECM towers a little sooner. All right, going ahead and take this. If he uses arm smash and takes out the shield arm, he's wasting a shot. Alright. Taz? Ryogo? Anyone? 
We've got our own problems, dweeb! Ugh. Oh boy. He's... It's first turn, uh, first round with a new toy. And he's getting kicked around a, li a little bit. Okay. Might as well shield with this. Machine gun rounds aren't going to do much here. Okay. Sad thing, though, about those David Cage games, they're also coming to the store at the same time as an interesting game by Obsidian, The Outer Worlds. And that makes me sad, because that game looks, um, looks really fun, but I'm going to have to wait a year to play it if I buy it on PC. If it's coming out this year, though, I'm probably not buying it anyway. <laughs> Just... Money's going to different things. Low damage shots causing ejections. That is that is kind of rough. I mean, I suppose... I suppose in a way it's a good thing because you're still not taking much damage, but you're still losing a turn to it. So, it really is kind of rough just to see, you know, tis but a scratch. Oh! Then just ejected. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, man, that is a steep cut to accuracy if I were to cut that off. Damn. Yeah, gonna... Just gonna leave that as is. His machine gun arm. Okay. Karoi's almost dead. I think it'd be best if I just keep wailing on him with Ryogo. Not yet, you little brat! Okay, young... Oh, yeah, this is, um... Yeah, I can move him out of the way. Attack someone who needs it. Let's see... Not you... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, okay, this turn's a little bit more manageable. That last one was uh, a bit rough. Whoop! And... Yeah, stick with machine gun. And Yun for the kill! Oh, man, you kill-stealing ass! Who's like mine? Now I'm bummed! Ah! To be defeated by the likes of you! How shameful! <laughs> yep, he just got his face kicked in by this game's equivalent to Yuffie slash Riku slash insert bubbly character here. But damn it, Square, just tone them down a notch. Okay. Okay, this hits, it's gonna hurt. I'd rather not. Even with his current HP totals, they're just... Nah. Things are going my way. Okay, and... Why is everyone ganging up on me all of a sudden? Ow, bro! I thought your boss was a dick! <laughs> That's Kuroi's secret. He's frequently beaten by girls. He pays extra for that. Um... <laughs> Okay. Oh, shit. shit! He needs out of there now! Whoa, Lenny! Whoa, hardcore! Okay. Lay off of Lenny! Words I didn't think I'd ever say. Okay, not good enough. Lenny needs fire support. Yeah, like yesterday. Uh, is there anywhere he can get where he can... Yeah, he just he's just gonna move here. He's gonna heal now. You heal now. He gets hit again, he's probably gonna get... He's probably gonna get dead. That melee dude needs to go down. Okay. What do we got? This guy's kind of a problem. Oh, now we have problems. Now we have decisions. Who? Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. 
I don't remember what this guy's weapon was. Melee. Yeah, he needs to go first. If There's two melee guys, and one of them focused in on Lenny, so might as well take the one who's in a weaker spot in a worse way. <laughs> ah, Keanu. Oh, man. Tis but a scratch. Damn it. Oh, boy. This is, um... This turns gun pear-shaped. Please double assault. Ah, oh, boy. Oh! Oh, good. <laughs> that sucked. Oh, that sucks even more. Okay, now I don't know who to save, because Ryogo and Linny are both in a tight spot. And I don't think I'm going to get that choice now. Not a body shot! Oh, yes! Hey! <laughs> oh, God. It took me a while to find that on DVD um, locally. They had it once, and it had a different back cover. Monty Python on the Holy Grail. Oh boy, if he does not make this, he's probably gonna die. You hoodlum! Oh man. Oh, this probably won't kill Lenny. Wait, I thought Lenny had more. Oh, right, because I healed. Got it. Okay. Wow, now I'm having trouble keeping track of who's about to die, because Lenny's defense is not great right now. I'm just going to back him right the hell up. Okay. He's hard blow. We have melee guy, sniper, other sniper. Okay, yeah, let's just go on ahead and take this melee guy you're down a peg. We need to take into the melee guy. Okay, right. I keep forgetting that trick. I don't know why I forget that trick every time now. Every time, except when it matters, I should say. Okay, so there's one choice out. Eject. Wait, what's his body damage like? Oh, he's got almost full health on the body. Eject. Ah, uh, thumbs. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to leave him anti-fire, just, just in case. That is the weirdest thing, though, that, that trick works, to eject into an enemy unit, and then suddenly they can't get back in. It's like, what, do you, like, fiddle around in their fuse box and, like, take all the fuses? I'm not sure I get how that works, but I can appreciate it. I'm telling y'all, it's sabotage! Oh boy, two snipers. Kaz is going to take a hit if he if he takes anything at all. He's going to take a hit. Oh! Or I could do this. This is stupid. I'm not going to do that. It's too much fun, and I'm not going to do it. Let's see. He's the most likely to die, so he gets the shot. <clears throat> oh, wait. I had that backward in my head. Ah! Ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. Ha. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, Ryogo. Well, this guy's anti-impact, so let's get Ryogo where he can shoot someone he can actually do damage to. Hmm. Yeah, the squishy bottom seat would be kind of a detractor to them getting back into, you know, just, just get in there, you know, just take... Just it didn't take much, just a little dump. You know, just take a little dump. You know, I came in, you know, sitting in my room, you know, walked in the door, long, hard day of work, you know, find a little, a little curly cute poop looking like a stinky Hershey's kiss on my chair. I'd be a little bit reluctant to sit down, too, so I can get behind that. Like, boop. <laughs> we actually had someone do that where I work, just like on the middle of the table. Just, just, Walk in, find a table, a little poop, 
right there in the middle of the table. I'm just like, why even? <laughs> I don't talk about work, but that one was, that was a different thing. That was, um... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shoot. Ryogo down. I forgot about healing him. Oh, man. That is, that's my bad. Oh, well. Oh, no, Ryoga, I'll revenge you. Seriously, guy? Oh, he is chum. <laughs> Stop, he's already dead. <laughs> Okay, that's a little overkill. <laughs> okay, that's, um... Oh, I don't know if that's Carlos revenge advice, but, um... I think that's the last, um... I don't think I've ever thought about an anal limiter. So, um... So that is, um, that, that's, that's words I never thought I'd say. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, though. <laughs> All right, time to avenge Ryogo, I guess. Mm. Oh, these people. Oh, man, I should have switched to her shotgun. I keep forgetting she has two weapons. And then I bring her along because she has two weapons. How does that... Okay, well, either way, that guy's a hard blow. I can just use this machine for a few turns. Just keep it close to his other one. Oh, man. And speaking of oddities, um, I'm also not a fan of in-game, like, massive amounts of DLC and lots of purchases and stuff to buy a complete game. I mean, who is? But uh, the new Mortal Kombat game, and I think I figured out what it is. It's just like all the characters' faces and the character designs. Many of the character designs, not all of them there. Just a lot of it's just like, eh, to me. But yeah, not a lot of interest in that game. And then they start announcing new character here, new character here. But um, yeah, so that game's basically going to likely be a DLC repository like the last game. But uh, they announced a few new characters recently. I don't know who K Katal Khan is, so don't give a crap. They announced Noob Saibot was returning. That's cool. Whatever. Then they announced Shang Tsung is going to be the first DLC character. Now, I wouldn't have thought twice about that. But, um... Yeah. The image as posted on Eurogamer... Apparently, he has been modeled to look like, um, Kari Hiroyuki Tagawa. He has been modeled to look like Tagawa, and he is voiced by Tagawa. And that, for the record, is the guy who voiced Shang Tsung, who played Shang Tsung in the 1995 movie. Now, Shang Tsung being DLC, that's shitty. He's been a major character in the franchise for so long, it's like, why even? I will say it is cool that they have him basically being portrayed in entirety by the the guy from the movie. That's that's really cool. So it's like a real mixed bag there. Okay, so oh, so Kotal Khan is a villain from a game I haven't played. <laughs> Got it. I did not play Mortal Kombat X, so I I know nothing about him other than he has very shiny pecs. You know, so so good on you, guy. You know, with with the with the. I don't know what his deal is. I don't know. But um, ooh, darn it, Lenny's in the wrong machine now. Ah, uh, let's pull him back to his, cause there's not like a lot that he really needs to. All right, and he can go anti-piercing now. There's no one fire here. Ugh. Oh, so there's a playlist of uh, Mortal Kombat X. Okay, I would be more likely to watch that game 
Then play it. Um. Oh crap! I should have. Shouldn't have blocked with Kaz. Damn it! Then I would have been able to shoot back. Ah, uh, like I like I was afraid of. One more turn, then you feel my wrath, the wrath of the Mamoru Beam. Okay, let's see. So, she's got piercing and impact. Okay, here we go. I can do this. Switch to the right weapon. Uh, the tools to kill the fools. Oh man. <laughs> Good time for him to throw sand in her eye. Because he's going to need it. I'd say this is for Ryogo, but I really don't care. Alrighty. Oh, MK9. I remember very well what happened in MK9. I played through that story. There were... There were some things. Oh man, she got ejected. Damn it. Raiden being portrayed as, you know, the most senile, ineffectual god. That was just... That was mean, Netherrealm. That was mean. But he got to kill Liu Kang. And I never liked Liu Kang, so I can live with that. <laughs> I hate to drop a spoiler that big, but it's okay. Liu Kang has died before. It, he'll get over it. It's Liu Kang. Hell, he probably got over it in MKX for all I know. Okay. So Kaz has all the AP now. He can shield. Cool. Yeah, they killed off so many people in Mortal Kombat 9. It's like, they didn't kill all of them on screen. They Mortal Kombat annihilationed them. It's like, damn it, Netherrealm. Didn't you learn? Ugh. Oh, don't remind me, it's been eight years since that game. I, I, I'm gonna feel that much older now. Ugh. It's cool, though. I'm just I'm just dicking around. Okay, let's see. Kaz. Yeah, that's one... That's a game I might actually come back and play through for YouTube videos. It is one that I kind of wanted to do after I eventually st start Skyrim. I mean, shit, I've been talking about playing Skyrim for YouTube for, like, years. Um, those two games specifically because I can edit things out and uh, clean it up a bit. Let's see. Board? Oh. I didn't, okay, come on. Thumbs, brain, it, it's late in the day, but it's not that late. Uh, Sinbad, Armageddon, Ooh, Taven and Dagon. I barely remember Taven, and I do not remember Dagon. I see the name Dagon, and all I can think of, all I can do is put Maroons before it, because too much of the aforementioned Elder Scrolls. For Ryogo! No one says that, it's not a thing, Lenny! I tried. Okay, is that everyone? Please surrender. Good. That gives me, what, like, what? Three machines? I seriously just get three free bots. Two sell. Oh, man, silver metal. Okay, I can... Yep. There are machines I can buy, so... They can be sold. Right, Taven. Oh, right. I remember that now. Um, I want to say that was um, part of one of the uh, that trilogy's little conquest modes, if I recall. A bit better now. The other units seem to have retreated. Their leader must be pretty smart to figure out he was at a loss. I'm pretty good when it gets serious. He's actually not lying. Lying. Ah, damn it. You've never been serious about anything. There's no time to waste. They'll be back. Yes, let's go back to base. Conquest mode for Armageddon. Okay. Then it's weird that I should know anything about that. I must have read some, like, wikis or something. Because I know for a fact. 
that I never played the Conquest mode in Armageddon. But I've read Wiki's stuff on, like, all of them. Like, fan theory about Blaze being in, in the, one of the first two Mortal Kombats. Um, I think it was Mortal Kombat 2, they were saying he was in the background of the pit, too. But, you know, fan theories are weird, you know, like Sith Jar Jar and whatnot. What, um, doesn't mean they're wrong, but, you know, I like a good fan theory. Spice things up, spice the lore and the history of the game worlds as well as the game development at times. But, it is what it is. And it being what it is, I'm going to go ahead and save on screen so I don't forget that again. Because I... Okay, so Mortal Kombat, yeah. Because I actually remember that part of the level. I remember those two dudes in the background, all 17 pixels apiece, animating in their, their little idols. Okay, so that's his actual origin. That's actually kind of cool. It's like learning about Ermac being a shorthand for Error Macro, and they, they just slapped that onto a character. I can't remember the full details. But Ermac is named after Error Macro. He's, he's, his name is a mistake. <laughs> okay, Serena fighting Dagon. Oh, yeah! I remember that. Oh, God, Barack Obama. Oh, why you gotta put this evil on me, man? <laughs> but in all seriousness, though, that's... That's going to be it for me today. I need to go ahead and hang some other non-clothing items today. So, hey, laundry, but different laundry. So I will be back Wednesday with Resident Evil HD. And Saturday, I'm going to be doing something a little different from Armored Core. Because it's my 200th episode, but there will be Armored Core. Oh, that link, I've already got that tabbed. There's a little play icon next to it, which is a new feature of... Um, Firefox to me. It's the one that I've only seen like the past year. So, sorta new? But yeah. Wednesday, RE at 4. Saturday, something relatively Armored Core related, I'm thinking. Also at 4. I'm gonna take Sunday off, though, because it's been a while since I've taken an off day, and it is my weekend off work, so it'd be nice to have a breather. Um, but I will totally be coming back to Front Mission. I'll decide on that one during the week, I think. But I'm not going to do more than s skip one week. If I skip a week, I'll go, I'll go insane. But there you go. There you have it. Navigator EX here. Thanks for sticking along. Eject full episode of the Chew and Fuck Face show. Indeed. How many ejects was that? It's like three or four. Woo! Everyone's got a spring under their seat. Hmm. Now I want to watch Die Hard 2. But there it is. Thanks for watching, and I will see you when I see you. Later, party people. Mm.